Hi, this is Breland Van Arsdale from Dadas Fight Camps. I'm with Paul Miles from MidAtlanticMMA.tv. We're here to speak about the uh, Matrix 3 fight October 29th between me and Julio Rosario from Semperfy MMA. I'm coming for you. Um, so, Paul, what, uh, what would you like to speak to me about today? Well, before we get into uh, the Matrix 3 fight, last week you had a non-sanctioned fight in South Philly. It was you versus Swoop. Let's talk about that one for a minute. Uh, was there any beef between you and Swoop going into that fight? Ah, uh, Swoop came up behind me and pushed me from behind because I was trying. I was signing autographs for these kids, and he was getting upset that you know I was getting all the attention. So he, got, he called me out. Basically, he kind of clucked at me and called me out in the cage. So we went up in the cage. Uh, came out there. I shot in, took him down real quick, hit him with an arm bar. He got back up and Swoop pushed me. So um, I didn't know what it's to do. True, I saw it. It I, happened. We got the video. I didn't know what to do, so I started so I started smacking him in the beak, and all he did was came with his feather and just smacked me right across the face. So what do you want me to do? Shot in and dunked swoop on his neck and choked him out with a head and beak choke. Head and beak choke. Nick Lembo, I want to see that in results. Head and beak. It's in. But uh, seriously, Breland, I appreciate you coming out to out to the Hero Thrill Show, signing autographs. It was a uh, great afternoon. So thank you also to uh, Anthony Cheesesteak Morrison and all the other guys that came Cheese out Cheese Steak! <laughs> now, um, you know, we're up here at the uh, Philadelphia Archery and Gun Club at uh, 9th and uh, Ellsworth. And um, we're up here because we're in your uh, active army, right? Uh, correct on some levels. I'm actually an uh, active guardsman one week in a month in okay. uh, New Jersey at the uh, Charlie Company 114th Infantry Unit in Burlington City, New Jersey itself. Uh, now, what's your MOS? What do you do for them? I'm 11 Bang Bang. I'm an infantry soldier. 11 Bang Bang. I like it. Um, now, we're talking about that because of Matrix 3 fight between you and Julio Rosario. It's starting to be billed as Army versus Marines. You're obviously representing the National Guard and the Army. Julio representing the Marines. Um, what's it like to know that not only are you representing Dadis Flight Camp in, in uh, Philadelphia and New Jersey, but also the Army in their proud tradition? Well, they're, they're all about it. They love it. We got ex-Marines that are all on the Army side for me. Um, makes me feel good to know that I can do something for my country other than just serving it with the military itself. Okay. Um, now, I've heard that, that this fight's been proposed before. What? Uh, why are we waiting three years, I guess it is now, to get this fight going? Uh, I was supposed to fight him for an amateur title years ago. Uh, for some reason it fell through, I'm not 100% sure. And then uh, there was another fight on Matrix 1 that was supposed to happen. I signed the contract. Um, I don't know what happened. Maybe something happened with his manager. But then I ended up at the, uh, at the weigh-ins, sitting there hoping to God that his opponent didn't show up. So now, pretty much, it's set in stone, and there's no backing out now. Main event. What's that mean to you, the main event of show in your hometown in Philly? <laughs> I, uh, there's... No words for it. It's unbelievable. They told me it's main event. I was like, really? I was like, is that big of a fight? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, now, you were supposed to fight Julio now twice. I'm sure you've done some scouting on him. What have you looked at? What have, what have we been uh, game planning for? Julio's a tough kid. He's, he's really, he likes to stay in the pocket, likes to fight, real good jiu-jitsu. So I'm thinking he's going to come out and try to brawl with me. So hopefully he does. You know, when I talked to uh, Jimmy Benz a month ago at the uh, Steel Union Workers Hall, where the fight's going to be, uh, we talked about the fight a little bit. You know, both you guys are good on the ground, good on the feet. I think it's going to be one of the best fights of the year. I'm really excited to, to, uh, for it to actually go down. Um, now, you know, got the Matrix 3 thing, National Guard. What else do you have going on? Just training, and uh, I'm actually starting instructing at uh, Brad Dadis Fight Camps in uh, Philadelphia and Cherry Hill. Uh, soon to be Hamilton. Shh. I didn't hear anything about it. But, uh, no, that's exciting stuff. Really, anything you want to say to Julio? Get ready, because you can't back out now, baby! Well, that's a lot of hype. I like it. Hey, war is over? Oh, no, it sounds like <laughs> the war is just started. War just started. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Those are the sounds of freedom! <laughs> well, when we're not being violent in the cage, as a pastime, we like to be violent.
uh, in the range. I'm just kidding, we're not violent. I shouldn't say that. Breland is. I'm not. Breland likes power. <laughs> Any power, whether it's his fists, knees, elbows, or a shotgun. You went through 20, uh, 20 